Sometimes editing your photos can get pretty complicated, but it doesn't need to be. In this video, I'll show you some of the easiest ways to get amazing results in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. We're going to use this lovely picture as an example, and no, this isn't my dog, but she's very photogenic. <laughs> so we'll use her as a model today. This photo was taken on a phone, so it's nothing fancy, and it looks okay right now, but we can definitely make it look a lot better. You can get this practice image in the video description. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few of the adjustments that I like to use, but keep in mind that for your photos, you might need to use different amounts for the adjustments. To start off, we'll go ahead and apply a vibrance adjustment, which is going to affect the colors in our photo. So we'll go down to the adjustments icon and then press vibrance. With the vibrance adjustment, we can affect both the vibrance and the saturation. And the difference here is that saturation affects all of the colors in your photo even the brightest of colors and the dullest of colors, everything becomes more saturated. So it has a far greater impact on your photo than the vibrance. But vibrance will affect only the dull colors in your photo and make them more saturated or vibrant. So let's go ahead and start with the saturation so we can kind of see what we think looks good here. And I think I'll keep mine around 20%. And now I'm going to go in with the vibrance, which won't change the picture quite as much, but we can use this to kind of tweak our colors a little bit more. So I'll bring that about here. I think that looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and close out of that. And now we're going to affect the brightness and contrast in our image. So let's go back to the adjustment studio and press brightness and contrast. So you can move these sliders to see how it affects your image. If you move the brightness up, it obviously gets brighter and down it gets darker. And I think I'm just going to bring mine down slightly because the picture is a little bright. And for the contrast, I'm just going to go ahead and increase this just a hair. Nice. I'm going to close out of this and show you one trick that you can do with your adjustments. If at any time you decide, ooh, these colors are looking a little too bright. I wish I could go back and change my vibrance adjustment. You can. <laughs> go ahead and double click on its icon in the layer studio and it'll come right back up. And you can do that for the brightness and contrast too. And any other adjustment that you want to add to this image, you can always double click it and go back. The last adjustment that we're going to use today is the black and white adjustment, which makes your photo black and white. But I'm going to show you a hidden trick that you can use that will also affect color images using the black and white adjustment. What? <laughs> Hold up, I'll show you how it's done. First, let's apply a black and white adjustment. So I love the black and white adjustment dialog box because you can affect so many different colors in your image. As you slide any of these sliders to the left, it makes that color darker in your photo. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can adjust these here. Some of the colors are affected in a greater portion of the photo. Some of them you can't really see much of a difference and that's okay. That just means that color's not in there. So I think that black and white adjustment is looking really good. So I'll go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to turn off this black and white adjustment and apply one more black and white adjustment to show you a hidden trick that you can use to affect the colors in your photo. So let's go ahead and apply one more black and white adjustment. And now we're going to change the blend mode to luminosity. Now color is showing through with the black and white adjustment. And as we adjust the sliders, we can affect the colors in our photo. So I'm going to go ahead and move some of these sliders around so you can see the difference that it can make. All right, and there we go. Using the black and white adjustment, we've been able to affect individual colors in our photo. 
which is something that most people don't know that you can do in Affinity Photo. When you see black and white, you probably just think, yeah, it's going to turn my picture black and white, but it's much more powerful than that. Now we can click this on and off to see a before and after, and how it's really enhanced the colors in our image. I'm going to go ahead and select all of our adjustment layers now. And here's our picture and how it was looking before, looking quite dull, and here it is with all of our adjustments. These adjustments are really easy to do and can really help your photos. If you want to keep learning even more ways to improve your photos, be sure to check out this video over here on how to remove shadows from faces. It's a very quick and easy tutorial and can be applied to almost any picture that you take. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.